introduce you to the XM Warrior uh, line of cameras. Well, part of that line. It has a couple of cameras that I've seen so far in that line. One's a standard uh, 1080p 30 frame per second camera, and the other is this XM Warrior G1S. Now, this one, you can tell by the difference in color. The daylight one is yellow and the night one is blue. By default, it comes with 32 gig of memory. But basically it says that with its compression, it would be the same as 80 gig of memory, assuming you're using traditional H.264 pure uh, video format instead of the H.264, H.265 hybrid they use. I've got no reason to say that they're not telling the exact truth. I won't say you'll get exactly that much. From 35 to 80 is a pretty big jump, but uh, it's quite possible you could. And I, and I do believe you'll get more than you would get uh, from a normal H.264 compression. I bought this because uh, you know, I've got more than a few cameras, but I never had one that was specifically uh, configured and optimized for uh, night viewing or twilight. And this is the things that separate the uh, the XM Warrior uh, from the XM Warrior G1S, which this is. Uh, it 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 is it uses a uh, some type of Sony Starlight sensor, like most of the I believe this is a Chinese manufacturer. Like most of those manufacturers from China that are based in China, uh, they use uh, you know bits and pieces from. Uh, from Japan and other other areas, mostly Japan, and they they put them in their own unique package. And this one does have some uniqueness that makes that means the little Sony uh, sensor in here is get is just part of what they're offering. Uh, the compression I told you about. It has a pretty powerful lithium-ion battery. It's a Panas Panasonic, I believe it says, NCR battery, 3400 uh, mAh. So it's a pretty uh, pretty strong battery which might be uh, the reason for the larger case. I think that battery has a little bulk to it, if I remember correctly. And in any case, so uh, it offers, say, six hours of continuous shooting. So usually three, four hours are the standards you get with, the, with what's available out there in the manufacturer now. So that is a little bit of an addition. So it offers a longer uh, record time. It offers a better utilization of the 32 gig internal memory there is no way to add external memory to this so if that's a gotcha but if it if it does do 80 gig worth of storage space that you would that would equate to uh a well larger than 64 gigabit uh, uh sd xc or lc card whatever they are uh so it, it is a pretty good uh, little addition it has a g sensor so it it is a dash cam if you want to use it as that so you know, it, it does have that ability to crank up and record, uh, you know, uh, with a gravity type or impact type of situations. So, you know, if that's what you're looking for, this is a nice addition. And I don't believe the ION supports that, at least the versions I've got. I haven't got a recent ION in a while. So, you know, it's, it's got eco start stop. So when you when you stop it from recording, uh, you can set it in the, uh, in the, uh, the Android, and I assume we also have Apple apps, but I only know the Android app, so don't, so don't, don't say I promise Apple. Uh, it's something you would need to consult with the company on. But it does. I do use the Android app. It it has done two great things for this camera because the frustrating thing I have with some very good Chinese manufactured uh, video uh, devices is it puts timestamps and watermarks on there. This one had a vendor watermark at the top, so your output had that on there. I don't know why. I don't know why they do that. Fortunately, they had an update of their application, uh, Android application, that allowed me to remove that watermark, remove that timestamp, and darn it, there is still a very, very small line of, of script there, which I believe is also Chinese, which did not make me happy at all. But cropping that little bit off is is a sacrifice I'm willing to make for a night optimized camera on those very rare occasions I do go out at night. So with those little gatches, it has appears to be a good camera. I'm attaching a, a test either I'll either attach it before this, in which case you've already seen it, or after this of a very small night trip, a uh, a snack run in the middle of the night, uh, with a, with a, 
through a windshield, so you have that. Not a not a great not a not a crystal clear windshield, so you have that limitation. But it does seem to show very good in low light. Well, it's about 8:30 at night, Central Daylight Time, and this is a sure sign that the winter is coming. Though uh, the temperature doesn't quite reflect that yet. So I thought I would get out and give this uh, XM Warrior a good test because this is supposed to be a strength and why I bought it. Uh, it's supposed to be very good in twilight learning using a special uh, Sony sensor to make it uh, more sensitive to, uh, to decreased light. I can sort of build a test into a uh, late night run to uh, get junk food. Yeah, this is a relatively inexpensive camera. Uh, the only issue I initially had with it was that it is a uh, it uh, has a, a, a corporate watermark up in the corner, and the initial release of the uh, the Google Play and I assume the Apple version as well did not have a way to remove that mark. It still has a small mark in the in the uh, corner. I don't understand why. Timestamps and, uh, uh, in effect, electronic watermarks on their uh, on their uh, cameras output. Uh, fortunately, a lot of them have realized that that is a, a cost uh, that they really don't need to entail in sales because a lot a lot of people don't either you know. They don't want that watermark in their in their personal videos, or they just don't want that uh, watermark in videos they might be uploading to uh, any social media site. Either uh, the monster that is Facebook or uh, YouTube. This is a pretty good opportunity to give a pretty good look at this area because there are enough lights in here to give you a little differential in the in, uh, light intensity. So uh, we'll see how this looks when we get back. And I will post this. Uh, you should be seeing my uh, first review of this uh, prior to uh, or right after, according to how I arrange it. Uh, this video. The amount of clarification you get uh, in that video, it, it was really pretty dark and you do almost seems like it's just becoming just light dusk or just beginning to, beginning to get dark. So it did do some improvement there. Of course, all cameras, because of the size of their uh, aperture, can allow more light in than your eyes. So it does tend to make things brighter. It's up to you to see if you can see if the difference there so far. I think it's done pretty good. So I just want to give you a quick look at this. Uh, I've liked it so far. So my review of it would be so far so good. Uh, durability will have to wait. It's just I haven't had it long enough to say it's going to last two, three, four, five years. But it's just a good special purpose camera for me. And if you watch the other video clip, I'm going to put a link to that video where the intro is taken with this camera during bright sunshine. It does do well in bright sunshine. So even though it is optimized for night, it is usable during the day and appears to be of relatively good quality. Well, I just want to give you a quick look at the XM Warrior. Uh, the video camera or action camera and that's what it would be defined as is an action camera it comes with a quarter inch drive at the bottom i have a little adapter here that i purchased for a while back and i can just put it on my all of my hero uh equipment with that little adapter of course and it uh, and it comes with a remote control this remote control can be set uh using the android app uh, to sync it up with your uh with your camera and then you would be able to use a uh and, and this is appears to be an off-on or record type of uh, of remote control, so it's not like it has a full display and access, but you can get that full display and remote control uh, from the Android app. All right, that's all I've got to, to say to you about this, and I will talk to you later, and uh, we'll see what comes next.